Hello everyone. The last episode of Evil aired recently. I'm still refusing to believe it. One of the best things TV has offered recently is this series. Creators Michelle and Robert King, who also directed the season 4 finale, have always written with a keen and even humorous eye, balancing science, religion, and the downright strange and enigmatic. Like previous episodes, Evil series finale addressed some questions, left others unanswered, and even introduced some new ones like the enigmatic Grey. Leland Townsend was a constant pain in David Kristen and Ben's sides, whether they were working on an exorcism or attempting to unravel the mystery behind the singing youngsters. Emerson's portrayal of Leland made it simple to dislike him, and from the beginning this man has been trying to ruin Kristen's life. He has been annoying at every turn. In the appropriately named fear of the end the series' conclusion, Leland got his revenge. Leland chasing Kristen made it feel nearly exactly like the beginning of Evil, but it also had a lot of Leruas undertones, especially when Kristen calls the police to report Leland while he laughs and keeps talking. It was quite emotional to watch David and Ben stop her from killing him, even if I wouldn't have faulted her for doing so. It meant that Kristen was no longer alone since these were men she could trust, people who had supported her in the past and would do so in the future. For Leland, it's like to hell on earth because there are no cell phones, Wi-Fi, or talking devices in the area. He is no longer able to scare or influence anyone there. Despite all the work he has done for DF, his reign is now gone, and they will have to continue without him. Furthermore, Evil isn't dead, so he can return in some way if he's ever picked up by another network or streaming service, though the idea makes me cringe. For a fantastic villain, it's a satisfying conclusion. The fact that David and Ben were there for her Relieving the stress and anxiety she had been carrying for so long was ideal after she had spent years attempting to shield her girls from Leland. Sending Leland to the silent monastery was the cherry on top of an amazing way to end the tale. The fact that Sister Andrea will be keeping an eye on him to make sure he doesn't escape makes me sad, but I'm sure the three of them will sleep better at night knowing she's there. While most series finales aim to cover as much ground as possible before ending, Evil didn't try to accomplish too much before calling it a day. It stays true to its strengths and delivers meaningful, poignant, and thought-provoking storytelling without feeling the need to cross every single box. In light of this, the series finale succeeds by staying true to its strengths. The relationship between David, Kristen, and Ben is at the center of the episode, and I was really taken aback by how much I've grown to love these characters over time. They are wealthy, multifaceted individuals who have overcome great adversity. The heart of the series was perfectly encapsulated by their reflections on the cases and their evolving relationship. Their friendship was only reinforced by the increasingly bizarre and entertaining stories they told each other. I was glad that the crucial issues were resolved, such as the trio's future course of action, while yet leaving room for more. Evil concluded its creative run on a good note, even if we never get to see these characters again. It was a great way to pay homage to past episodes and even bring back the VR goggles for a final use. And even though I assumed Cheryl would take care of the plotline about Timothy being the Antichrist by baptism him, Evil still managed to surprise me by having Kristen perceive him as demonic. It raises more questions than it answers about whether he is indeed him Kristen might be having hallucinations once more. After all, but it keeps us alert and suggests there may be more to the tale. That being said, Evil's climactic episode functions as a standalone that both hint at more and provide some measure of resolution. It also provided a lot of fodder for contemplation. All I really know is that when the credits rolled, I was upset that it ended far too soon and sorry that it was finished for us as viewers. Even though Evil left us before its time, it has been an exciting and unforgettable journey, and all things considered, it has come out on top. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.